Do you want to study in the USA, but the process seems confusing to you? Applying to the U.S. as an undergraduate student is a long and time-consuming process. It takes months and months of preparation to go through the exams, write your essay, research, and prepare the necessary documents. Although it is a long process, it is quite straightforward. In this video, we will give a basic overview of the entire process. First, we have the necessary documents. The major documents needed to apply to the U.S. as a student are 1. Passport. A passport is required to give your SATs and IELTS exams. Universities also require you to provide a passport to verify your identity. 2. A bank certificate with more than 30,000 US dollars is preferred or at least the I-20 amount on average. 3. Your transcripts from grades 9 through 12, though many universities will only want your 10th, 11th, and 12th grade transcripts. 4. Two letters of recommendation, one from your counselor and the other from your teacher. Just one from a counselor also works, but having two allows you to apply to a wider range of universities. 5. Common app essays or similar kinds of SOPs. 6. Certificates of ECAs. U.S. universities take a holistic approach while evaluating an applicant so if you have any ECs then you can submit them as well. Consultancies, yes or no? Short answer, no. The internet provides a plethora of freely available resources for you to get information on applying to U.S. universities. That's why in most cases, you won't even need to go to any consultancies. Besides, they are only there to take your money. Applying for an F-1 visa is so easy that everyone can do it themselves. Applying to the U.S. universities yourself means you make your own decisions and can do what's best for you. And if you feel lost or have no idea whatsoever, you can always ask for help from USEF Nepal. They can assist you in selecting universities, preparing for your tests, filling out the Common App, and guiding you through the visa process. However, they will only guide you through the process, so you'll have to do most of the work yourself. Before we get to the next section, it would be really helpful if you like this video and share it with other students just like you. 5 Pillars of Strong Application for a strong application you will need a GPA greater than 3.5 and SAT test scores above 1450, a unique and well-written essay on one of the common app prompts, at least two letters of recommendation from a guidance counselor and a teacher, and ECAs that demonstrate your interest in the major you are applying to. SAT SAT is a standardized objective test of mathematics and English. Each section constitutes 800 points with a total of 1,600 points. Although the SAT is optional for most colleges, taking the SAT is highly recommended. The cost of the test is $109 and you need to have a passport to take the test as of the making of this video. English Proficiency Test, TOEFL, IELTS and Duolingo are the common tests for testing English proficiency. For IELTS, you need to score at least 6 in total with a minimum of 6 in all individual bands. The cost of the test is 21,000 to 27,000 depending on the type of test and the testing agency. For TOEFL, you need a score of 80 or higher. The cost of the test is $195. Although the Duolingo English test, DET, is not as widely recognized as IELTS or TOEFL, it is becoming increasingly recognized, anything above 100 is acceptable, the cost of DET is $49 USD, you'll also need to have a passport to take these tests as of the making of this video. Research, this is the most time-consuming part of applying to US colleges, selecting a college is dependent upon various factors, like cost of attendance, faculty, university rank, expected scholarships, location, and student culture slash demographics. To research universities you can use websites like US News, Niche, and College Board College Search. During the research process, you'll need to focus mostly on the cost of attendance, also known as the COA, Merit Scholarships, University Rank, and the Faculty. You'll find info on scholarships and tuition costs on the university website itself. You'll also need to note if the university is public slash state funded or private. Public universities tend to have different tuition costs for non-resident or international students, while private universities charge the same tuition fee. 
In most cases, your COA is what makes or breaks it. Affordability is subjective, but for your visa purposes, it is best if your COA is lower than $20,000 to $25,000. Finally, to learn about a university's day-to-day -day student life you can visit its subreddit. Alternatively you can also contact a current student or alumni. Common App Common App is a platform through which you can apply to most of the colleges in the USA. There you will be able to add your colleges of choice, answer their questions, and write their supplemental essay. Up to 20 colleges can be applied to. You need to invite your guidance counselor to the Common App and he or she can upload your transcripts and request an application fee waiver. Dollar Card a dollar card is a must-have if you are self-applying to U.S. universities to pay for your exams, application, and other fees in U.S. dollars. And since Nepali cards can't be used to pay fees in dollars, you'll need to make a separate kind of card called a dollar card. In Nepal most of the A-list banks provide it, and Techno KD, link in description, has shown the full process of making it. After getting I-20, you start your visa process after you've received your I-20. To start, you'll need to fill two different forms, DS-160 and CGI form. After filling out the CGI form, you'll need to pay a $160 MRV fee from any Nepal Investment Bank branch to book your interview date. You will also need to pay the SEVIS fee, which takes another $350, at least two or three days, before your interview date. To pay the SEVIS fee, you can either use a dollar card or visit any bank, which provides a service to pay it. Telegram Groups Telegram groups can be extremely helpful while applying to the U.S. There are various groups that allow you to connect with other students who are also applying to U.S. universities. Besides the obvious, telegram groups can also provide minute-by-minute -minute visa slot updates, which can be quite helpful to book a visa appointment. Thanks for staying, and we hope the very best in your application process. Subscribe and stay tuned to our channel to receive useful tips on the U.S. application process.